Welcome to this month's Olympiad question that says, find the values of x plus 1 all over x, given that x to the power of 4 plus 1 all over x to the power of 4 is equal to 194. So we're going to start by simplifying. This is x to power 4, which is x to power 4 is same as 2 times 2 plus 1 all over x to power 4. 4 is same as 2 times 2, and this is equal to 194. Now, we're going to be applying the law of finesses that says, when I have a to the power of m times n, this is same as a to the power of m, or raised to the power of n. So, we'll apply that to what we have here and here. So, this can be written as x squared, raised to the power of 2 plus 1 all over, we'll write this the same way, x squared all raised to the power of 2. And this is equal to 194. Now, this expression can be simplified. So we have x squared raised to the power of 2 plus 1 can be written as 1 squared all over x squared raised to the power of 2, and this is equal to 194. This simplifies to x squared raised to the power of 2 plus, now since I have the same powers here, which is raised to power 2, I can combine them. So I have 1 all over x squared, now raised to the power that is common, which is 2. This is equal to 194. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to use an identity. We have a squared plus b squared is the same as a plus b or raised to power 2 minus 2ab. In this context, our a is x squared. And our b is what we have here, which is 1 all over x squared. So now let's write it in this form. So this is a plus b, which is x squared plus 1 all over x squared. That is a plus b raised to the power of 2, which is what we have here, minus 2 times a. a is x squared times b. b is 1 all over x squared. And this is equal to 194. And if we have to simplify further, we have x squared plus 1 all over x squared, all raised to the power of 2, minus. Now, this can cancel out this, leaving 2 times 1, which is 2. And this is equal to 194. Now, our next step, we'll move negative 2 to the right-hand side. So that we have x squared plus 1 all over x squared all raised to the power of 2 to be equal to, we've got 194 on the right. And as negative 2 crosses, it becomes plus 2. So this we are given x squared plus 1 all over x squared all raised to the power of 2 equal to 194 plus 2 is 100 and 96. Now to get rid of this square, we take the square root of both sides. So I'll take the square root of the left, which is x squared plus 1 all over x squared, all raised to the power of 2, to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 196. Now this square root cancels out the square, so that we have x squared plus 1 all over x squared to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 196 is 14. So now let's separate the values. So we have x squared plus 1 all over x squared to be equal to positive 14 or x squared plus 1 all over x squared to be equal to negative 14. Now let's focus on this. Terms with a power of 2 is always positive. 
That means the left hand side will always be positive. But now look at what we have here. We have the right hand side to be negative. So it is not balanced. So we're going to be rejecting this. So we'll focus on this. Now let's bring out an identity. Well, this is a squared plus b squared. This is an identity we've used before. This is equal to a plus b or raised to power 2 minus 2ab. Good. So now we're going to be writing this in terms of this. So this will be, remember our a here is x. And our b is 1 all over x because we can actually put squared here. And write a common power. I can remove this and write a common power like this. It is still the same thing. So now let's write this because this is our B. So I'm going to be writing B here. We're going to be writing this in this form. So this will be X plus 1 over X. That is like A plus B. All raised to the power of 2 minus 2AB. That is 2 times X times 1 all over X. And then this is equal to 14. Now, simplifying further, you see that this x can cancel out this x so that we have x plus 1 all over x or raised to the power of 2 minus 2 times 1 is 2. This is equal to 14. Now, let's move negative 2 to the right so that we have x plus 1 all over x or raised to the power of 2 to be equal to 14. And as this one crosses, it becomes plus 2. Now, this simplifies into x plus 1 all over x, all raised to the power of 2 to be equal to 16. Now, let's get rid of this square by taking the square root of both sides. So, we have x plus 1 all over x, all raised to the power 2, to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 16. Now, see that this square root cancels out the square, leaving behind x plus 1 all over x to be equal to plus or minus. The square root of 16 is 4. Now, we have two values of x plus 1 all over x, one of which is x plus 1 all over x is equal to positive 4, or x plus 1 all over x is equal to the negative 4. So those are the values for x plus 1 all over x. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.